This tutorial is about adjusting dimming curves. So I set up a real quick simple stage here. I have some regular incandescent lights in these positions. And then I have some color washers, LED color washers here, 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 and here. I just simply have them set to uh, six channel. So you can see when I bring them up like scene one, my pink color washers and I have my regular incandescent lights. In scene two, incandescents will come down a little bit. We go to blue, and in scene three, kind of an amber color, and these are set at about 75%. Now, you probably noticed one of the issues you have in a theater when you're combining incandescents and LEDs is that the LED lights tend to fade up a little bit quicker, so you get kind of an uneven look to the fade. Um, so sometimes your colors in the LEDs will come up too soon, and then the incandescents will come in and kind of wash out the color so you don't get an even fade. So there is a way to adjust that in QLC Plus. We can actually adjust the dimmer curve in the LED lights. And it's very, very simple. Go back to the fixtures itself. Click on the fixture and then go up here. And this is called Channels Fade Configuration. Click here. Now, if I select my lights... I get this menu that pops up, and I'll just scroll down here. Again, I'm just doing six channels here, red, green, blue, amber, white, and UV. But if I click over here, I get to choose my dimmer curve. So what I would typically do is do something like this, like an exponential deep. So if, if we're going simply linear, linear the beginning of the fade, say it's a four second fade, at two seconds your LED light is at 50%, and then at four seconds it's up full, which may, again, cause it to look like, come on too brightly just because of the way LEDs look. So if you, put, if you pick exponential deep, it will stay darker, and, and most of its fade will be at the end here. Uh, again, what you could decide here is which one of these you would like that looks the best, and I just kind of would take a look at my show and say, okay, I like this particular curve here. Exponential char shallow is very close to a linear. Medium is a little bit deeper. And then deep is deeper then. Um, so that will help adjust that so your LEDs look like they fade up a little bit more evenly with your incandescent lights. A couple things to note in here. Um, if you're looking for a way to keep a particular socket on full, that's available here. You can click that on full. Or if you have a light that you do not want to go above 50%, you can go here. And also, if you want to park a light at off, say you're having particular uh, trouble with a particular fixture, and you want to park it at zero so that even though cues are coming up that include that light, you can go in here and park it at off so that it's going to stay off. So if you're wondering about a parking feature in QLC, there it is right there. You have some other to pick from here. You can do logarithmic deep. And this is kind of the opposite of the exponential where it will fade up quickly and then less at the end. Also, you can pick one of these like 50%. And then by clicking on the plus, you can add dots or moments to it. And then you can move these around and develop your own just by kind of dragging and dropping, you can develop your own curve if you like. So if you're not satisfied with some of them that are there, you can actually go in and develop your own curve if you like. Um, you know, so there's a lot of options here. Once you do this, then you would simply save this as a particular curve that you've developed that you're happy with. Um, so hopefully this helps you make an, uh, even out your lighting with the fade-ups and the fade-downs.